once a week, maybe once every couple weeks here at Refund Horizons, the phone will ring and I'll get a call from a landowner and they will start to ask me questions about uh, land use questions about a parcel that they either purchased or a parcel that uh, that they're trying to purchase. And uh, they'll start to ask me, you know, questions about the zoning. Can I do this? Can I do that? You know, what does this mean? And one of the things that always puzzles me about that is in almost every case, uh, the person making this phone call um, has a real estate agent or a broker that is representing them. And I don't understand why I'm getting that call from the landowner and not from the real estate agent or broker. That's what the agent or broker is being paid for. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the reason we, the reason we hire real estate agents or brokers is because they're the professionals. And, you know, a, a lot of times the, the, the lay person that's involved in this property transaction, um, doesn't even understand what questions need to be asked, right? So I will often tell the caller, I'm happy to help you try and figure some of this stuff out, but I need to talk to your real estate agent or broker. You know, let's get on, let's have a comp, either give me their number or let's get on a conference call. You know, this is something that they should be helping you with. And uh, this, this, this occurs so frequently that I decided to put together a quick video. <laughs> um, and the, and what the topic I want to cover in this video is three questions that your real estate agent or broker should be helping you answer if you're buying a, a parcel for commercial purposes. Okay. And what do I mean by commercial? I mean, basically, if you're, if you're not buying a house to to either a single family home to either live in or rent, if you're doing anything else with real estate, <laughs> ag, industrial, retail, you know, outdoor, recreation, activities, whatever, if, you, if you're buying a piece of parcel as an investment, um, your real estate agent or broker should be helping you answer at least these three very important questions. Now... There are other land use things that come up in real estate transactions, especially for commercial property. And so there are other things I think your real estate agent or broker should help you answer. We'll cover those questions in a different video. But in this video, I want to, I want to start with the three, perhaps most important questions, okay, that your real estate agent or broker should be helping you answer. So are we ready? Here we go. Okay. Question number one. What is the zoning of the subject parcel? Okay, so you're looking to buy this parcel. That's what we call a subject parcel. What's the current zoning? You should know that before you buy it, right? And you should understand uh, what the zoning allows you to do or not do with that parcel. Okay, so almost <laughs> every parcel in California has some kind of zoning assigned to it. And you should understand the zoning. So in, in California, the zoning dictates what you can and cannot do with your parcel. Okay, it's called land use regulation, right? We regulate how you can use your own land. We do that in California. Um, and in most places in California, the, the use you can make of your land is not lightly regulated. It is heavily regulated. So you really need to understand this is an important thing for you to understand before you buy a piece of property um, as an investment or, or uh, for business purposes. So number one question that your broker or agent should be able to answer for you is what the current zoning of the parcel is. And so let's say, let's say that you ask your broker and they say, oh, well, it's zoned, um, LI, uh, three, three dash B. Okay. Well, that's great. Uh, thanks. Thanks for that information. That doesn't help you very much though, right? What does that mean? What does, uh, LI dash three dash B mean? Well, it's light industrial type three, you know, subtype B. Okay. Well, even that's not very helpful. What does that mean? You know, like this is why you need help, right? You need to understand the zoning that applies to your parcel and what it means. Okay, so that brings us to question number two. Very important question that your broker or real estate agent should be helping you answer, okay, about land use. And that is, does the existing use on the subject parcel comply with the current zoning? Now, you would just think that every existing use complies, but a lot of times that's not the case. So, for example... Um, I looked at a parcel not too long ago that was zoned light industrial, uh, but there was a retail business in the building, right? And if you looked at the zoning code, it specifically excluded retail uses from that zone. So there was a, what we call a non-conforming use on that parcel. Now, if this particular buyer had bought that parcel 
with the plans to either continue that retail business or put another retail business in that building, it's totally possible that the city, in this case, could have said, no, we're not going to allow you to do that. And in that case, the buyer said, well, he could have said, well, there was a retail use here before, and the city might say, yeah, but we don't care. Right now, there's legal arguments you can make about, you know, can you grandfather in a non-conforming use, blah, 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 blah. But the point is, if you could potentially have problems with the county or city that's regulating your land use, you want to know that, right, before you buy. So you need to know, does the existing use of the parcel conform with the current zoning, yes or no? You need to know that. Okay, here's the third question, third important question that your real estate agent or broker should be helping you answer about a commercial real estate parcel. And that is, does any proposed use you want to make comply with the current zoning? So in, not in every case, but in many, many cases, the majority of cases, when I'm working on a real estate transaction, somebody wants to buy that piece of commercial property and they want to do something with it, right? They want to improve it. They want to add to the, add on to the building. They want to change the use. Like they've seen some kind of investment opportunity here. We do occasionally work on some deals where the use isn't going to change. I would say that maybe is a third, but most of the time somebody's buying that piece of property. They want to do something with it, right? They, they think they have a way to increase the value. So you need to have that conversation with your real estate agent or broker. They should know what you plan to do with the property so they can help you determine if this property is a good fit or not for that proposed use that you have in mind. And so they need to look at the zoning and they need to decide uh, based on the zoning and other land use regulations, you know, is there a reasonable chance that you're going to be able to execute the plan that you want to execute for that parcel? Okay, now, I don't expect real estate agents and brokers to be to be land attorneys. That's not that's not what I'm asking. But your real estate agent or broker should be familiar with the concept of land use regulation. They should understand what zoning is. Right? They should know what a general plan is, what a specific plan is. They should understand what a zone is. Okay? And if they can't answer these questions for you, they should be able to put you in touch with another professional, a land surveyor, a private land planner, or a land attorney that can help you get these questions answered. And it's not that hard. Right? So one of the things we do here at Refine Horizons is we provide zoning reports. And if you're a real estate agent working on commercial property in Central California, Western Nevada, in most cases, we will provide that zoning report to you at no charge, right? So it's not that difficult. If, a, if your real estate agent or broker is unwilling to help you answer those questions, those three questions we covered about zoning and land use on your transaction, then they're not doing their job. And you need to get a new real estate agent or broker, right? They need to earn that commission that, that you're going to pay them, pay them, that's why you hired a professional was to help guide you through this process, right? And I'm not saying they got to have all the answers, but they got to help you find the right professional to get you answers so that you can make some well-informed decisions about the purchase of this particular property that you're looking at. So to review three questions that your real estate agent or broker should be helping you answer if you're going to buy commercial property in California or Western Nevada. Number one, what is the current zoning? Number two, does the existing use comply with the current zoning? And number three, will your proposed use, if you have one, comply with the existing zoning? There's other questions that you need to look at related to zoning and land use when you're going to buy a parcel. We'll talk about those in the other video. But at a minimum, your broker should be, should be able to help you answer those three questions so you can make a good purchase decision.